and welcome back. So, uh, as you guys already know, it's uh, package day. Because, well, you clicked on the video. <laughs> but, at any rate, uh, this time, uh, Bobby Keys and I had worked out a trade. I had sent him the uh, pin maker's lock and uh, sent him some other locks to go with it. So, he uh, was kind enough to send me another lock back. Uh, and today is 7-7 uh, of 2017, so uh, expected delivery day is, uh, is right on time. We like that when the uh, U.S. Postal Service doesn't screw things up. <laughs> but at any rate, um, I'm going to try to see if I can get into this thing. See what uh, Mr. Bobby Key sent for me. Okay, <laughs> he, I like it. He, write, he writes his name on, uh, on his boxes. <laughs> so... I don't have to do it. it kind of saves me a minute. Um, but at any rate, let's, uh, let's see, uh, see what he put. Thank you, Bobby. Before we ever uh, get into this, thank you for all the locks, man. Because uh, I know that you always send a great package, man. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you put in here, man. Uh, looks like you got. <laughs> No shortage of packaging here. <laughs> uh, package inside of a package inside of a package. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Awesomeness. Um, fortunately, I got a decently sharp knife, so uh, awesome. Oh, cool. Kick ass. I'm already seeing something I wanted. Uh, this, I'm assuming, is a gift that looks really awesome. Uh, but this, before I ever get too far, is. Uh, Pinned by the dude, the lock picking Lebowski, 518 of 17, and it is a Yale with uh, eh, pretty good uh, bidding on it. Um, I have not picked any from lock picking Lebowski, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Actually, there's two Yales. Wow. Uh, Wonder Twin, difficulty A and difficulty B. <laughs> Sweet. Um, yeah, looking forward to those. Um, I, like I said, I always love getting new locks uh, in from from pen from uh, pick make uh, lock makers that I haven't uh, haven't picked. Okay, let's get these out and uh, get some of this packaging out of the way. That's awesome. Oh, and I got a for your collection, and that feels like a padlock. We will open that last. Well, almost last. I think we're going to open that part last. Um, at any rate, let's uh, let's see what kind of goodies we got here. I'm always looking forward to uh, getting new locks in. And like I said, uh, Bobby and I have made a trade before, and uh, he's a uh, he's a very generous guy. Sent some awesome stuff. Okay, we got a quick set here. Oh, uh, oh, cool, a big Willie. Awesome. I've picked uh, a big Willie locksmith lock, but. Uh, um, but I'm looking forward to that one because it was a lot of fun. He likes his shiny locks. This one's really shiny too. <laughs> awesome. Um, let's see what else we got here. Alright. Let's see here. And we have... Oh, no. Sorry, a clock. No name. Uh, gut at... Five and seven o'clock. Okay. Well, we've got twelve and seven. So I'm assuming that you can turn it either to oh five was on here too. It looks like it's been rubbed off. I'll write it back on there. Um, but it looks like you need to turn it to seven or five to gut. So interesting. Uh, no name. Gut it five and seven. No, didn't say who pinned it. So interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, we'll definitely have to keep track of that. That's awesome. Um, all right, let's see what this one is. Oh, I'm already seeing a sergeant. Nice. Love picking sergeants. They're uh, one of my favorite locks. Uh, I've got a lot of favorite locks, but sergeants are always fun. Great tolerances, and uh, of course this one's going to be extra fun because it's uh, pinned by Bobby Keys. Ah, uh, nice. Has a key. Not mummied. And it works perfectly smooth. Awesomeness. Very cool. 7 3 of 2017. So, hell, <laughs> this thing's only four days old. <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. Um, next one. We have. I love my challenge locks. Uh, and we have a stock lock. Okay, um, wow, that's a big heavy bow, uh, LSDA, and it says stock, so, wow, nice keyway too. 
Um, oh, and <laughs> it is a uh, key blank. So this is for me to make into a challenge lock. Nice. It is not zero bitted, so I'll have to pick it open before I um, before I cut the key. I can put whatever bidding I want to it, so that'll be awesome. Um, sweet. Looking forward to that. Thank you. That's awesome. I always love my stock locks so that I can uh, make more challenge locks, which I'm in the process of doing. I've got a couple packages I'm trying to get going, and um, I'm going to have to make some more trades, uh, actually. Um, I've got a couple surprise packages going out for a couple people, but I, I want to make some trades with some guys, too. So, because i got some challenge locks I need to send out, so I'm going to have to hit some guys up for some trades. So... Uh, let's see here. We got a pinned by Texas Jim Postland. And this is the patent. You know what? Our potent. I think it's potent. I'm uh, pretty sure I picked this one. <laughs> um, yeah, I I'm, I'm pretty sure I picked this one. Um, I'll have to look through my videos and see, but it's very familiar. Uh, I'm wondering if I sent this one to Bobby, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think it wouldn't surprise me though. Things make their rounds. Um, so, all right. Let's see here. We got another challenge lock. Awesome. We are challenge lock heavy, which is totally awesome. I love my challenge locks. This one is a Keymaster number five, which I have not. This is an Abus. I have not picked this. And this is pinned by Keymaster, and it's number five. Sweet. Awesome. Has a. Uh, pretty good bidding there lows in the lows in the front and highs in the back so that'll be nice and it's <laughs> nice and sticky in the middle so <laughs> nice that'll be awesome okay let's see what he gave me for my collection I'm looking forward to that uh, it's a heavy padlock too and I think I hear keys so oh yeah it has a key oh beautiful patina oh look at that Corbin Nice. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Works perfectly. Nice. That is that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Good bidding on that too. Got some high lows going on there. And an original PF Corbin New Britain Connecticut uh, key. Sweet. That is beautiful. Love those old keys too. I mean, I'm not huge on keys, but I like it when they're original and they've got, especially this one has the dragons on it because, uh, you know, I, I love my dragons. <laughs> we all know that. Uh, this one has uh, Corbin Cabinet Lock Company, New Britain, with patent number and lubricate with uh, graphite. Works perfectly. Really strong shackle though. Beautiful. Thank you so much for this. Um, I will be picking this and putting it into my collection, I can guarantee you. And of course, last but not least, uh, I'm, I'm excited about this. He had mentioned something about it, and I am looking forward to seeing what we have here. Sweet. Try to do this very carefully. I don't want to mess anything up. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. These are well finished. Nice. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Those are nice, too. That's a nice thin uh, ball. That is awesome. And there's a nice looking uh, deep hook. Wow. That's beautiful. Look at the shine on that, too. He has really done a great job on these. Wow. Yeah, he has put some time and effort into these. These are beautiful. And then we have a, uh, a nice, uh, oh wow, that's kind of an uh, interesting deeper hook. I like that. I like that a lot. That'll be real convenient for getting underneath some things. Man, beautiful, beautiful picks. Bobby, thank you so much um, for these picks. These are awesome, man. Absolutely beautiful. Oh wow, um, they're gonna go up here and I will have to try them out on something, but not on a package opening, that is my rule. Um, I am gonna have to pick something though. You know what, as Bobby Keys is staring at me, <laughs> we are gonna try this uh, four day old uh, pinned by Bobby Keys Sergeant. I like it, 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Okay, let me grab my. Um, let's get some of this other stuff out of the way because I'm sure I'm gonna have to gut this thing. So this stuff all needs to come over. It can go over here for now. Get this big willy over. Let's see, that was the sergeant. There's that. Okay. There we go. Um, all right. Let's get my vice over here and hopefully see if we can get into this thing. Um, if you have not gone and checked out Bobby Key's videos, I don't know what you're thinking because, uh, well, you're watching my stuff too. So, uh, you need to watch his because he is a great picker, uh, makes some great videos, and he's a great challenge lock maker too. Uh, his locks are a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Sergeant, I'm going to use my 50,000 pry bar from Peterson. Yep. And I'm going to use my gem. Because, uh, well, that's, <laughs> that's what I use. Uh, uh, with that bidding, let's say, by the way, here's the bidding on that. With that being a high low the way it is, I may need something deeper. So we may have to go to uh, a deeper hook. But I am going to start with my gem nonetheless. Uh, because, well, that's what I like. Okay, I think we're there. I guess I could probably zoom in a little bit. I'm just hoping that it doesn't mess up the uh, focus. Unfortunately, there we go. I had some issues with some autofocus before, but I may have worked the kinks out on that. So we're going to give that a shot. Um, do what I always do, which is start in the back of the lock, pull forward, and search for a binder. Um, okay, a little bit on four. Okay, a little bit on two. Getting counter already. Oh, hold on. That may have been an overset. Okay, I got a little rotation there off of pushing two up, or one, that may have been one, okay, hold on, I'm getting counter, hmm, okay, that was one, that was three, a little bit on five, a little bit more on five, Now I was going to come into that place where I said I needed something deeper. Oh, hold on. Uh, one. Wow. Um, you know what? <clears throat> I'm totally going to take that because this is a packaging op package opening. And I would normally, when I pick something and it picks fast, I'd normally lock it back up and pick it again. But this is going to be a long video already. So i got to take it, guys. An <laughs> open is an open. Uh, wow, that's that's awesome. Um, <laughs> lots of feedback on that one. It opened pretty... Uh, kind of told me exactly what to pick next. <laughs> so there you go. Um, let's get this out of the vise. Let's zoom out. And uh, we will gut this thing. See what kind of awesomeness Bobby put in this thing. Um... There we go. Keep this all in frame. Let's slide this back. Let's scoot you guys around a little bit. There we go. Square you up. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, get a straight blade screwdriver. Looks like. Um, as I was saying, though, if you have not checked out Bobby's channel, make sure you go check him out. He is he is a great guy. Um, awesome picker. Uh, he's making awesome videos, and uh, and I really appreciate the locks, man. So thank you for sending them, and uh, let's see what kind of goodness he put in this awesome lock. There we go. Okay, that's that. Um, as you guys can see, it is still picked, um, and we are going to throw a shim in it because it is a challenge lock. Shim, see if I can get that shim in there. Sergeants are such tight tolerances. I may not be able to get a shim in there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even going to be able to get that shim in there. So we're just going to have to push it through. Um, there's certain locks that I, I just can't shim. <laughs> um, pins are up. There we go. Awesome. Um, as you can see, it is a five pinner. So and everything needed to be picked. Everything's well below the shear line. 
two may have been the only one that was somewhat close to the shear line, but he's definitely well below. Um, and as you can see, all the pins are in and working. There we go. And I'm seeing all kinds of modifications to this thing. Um, let's see here. In one, we have a nice uh, cone-shaped spool. Two is a double cone-shaped spool inseration. Three is a standard. Four is a spool with serration on top and serration on bottom. And five is just a uh, nicely serrated. Now all of these are homemade pins, very good looking. Um, looks like we have counter milling and threading both. We have counter milling on top and threading at the bottom of chamber two. Uh, four and five are just threaded. So awesome stuff there, man. Great, great job on the modifications on this lock. Are on the uh, core there. Let's uh, see what he put up in the Bible for me. Um, looks like we had a oh, hey, we have a uh, wedding cake pin. Wow, a very long wedding cake pin in uh, one. Let's show that pin off really good. Come on, focus. Okay, hold on. Let me back my. Make sure, I'm all the way zoomed out. I am. Okay. There's that focus issue I had. Um, but as you can see, it is a nice shaped wedding cake pen. Um, very nice looking pen. Okay, we have a very, very sharp spool in two. That is like mega sharp. Yeah, that's, that's an awesome pen right there, man. Uh, and that would uh, definitely catch on that counter milling. If I had uh, gotten too heavy on my tension, it would have caught up in that counter milling and I may have been stuck unless I manually turned it back. So that's, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, then we have a oh, nice looking pen. An awesome looking double spool. Very sharp edges on that. Nice looking pen. Very cool. Uh, and then in four, we have another spool. Uh, serrated spool. Nice. Very sharp serrations there on the bottom of that with a spool above it. Nice looking pen. Uh, and that would catch on these threads that was in four. Yeah. I'm trying to go over some of this for you guys so you can see what would, what, what a lock. This is, he's done a really good job on this lock. Uh, because everything he's put in here has made a difference. Uh, has, has would have counted, would have acted with what he has done to the modifications so very good awesome awesome looking pen that's like a triple spool great looking nice very nice looking uh, triple spool nice sharp edges so uh, that means that I would have had to set that more than once uh, and then of course um, in that chamber was also threaded so those would catch as well as the uh, uh, this is the key pen of five he is a uh, serrated has nice thin serrations on it and so he would have caught in the threads in chamber five same thing with chamber four it was threaded and that is the key pin for number four had a spool with the serrations on top and bottom so he would have caught in the threads three was a um, um, was a uh, standard chamber nothing was done to it and of course he didn't put anything in there but a standard pen so that makes sense but he did put a double spool up top so I would have had to set that more than once uh, really good then uh, uh, with the counter milling and then he had threading deep within he put threading or he put uh, serrations on the bottom of this pen which was very smart that way it would have caught with the serration or with the threading in chamber one so or in chamber two uh, that was deep below the uh, counter milling uh, awesome job on this lock man uh, let's get these springs out I'll, oh you know I'm gonna dig them out I've got that awesome tool that I got from West Coast Picks um, in five well maybe I'm gonna dig them out there you go in five and you know what these are actually in there pretty loose I may be able to dump them faster. Five. Well, maybe. Yeah, four doesn't want to come out. Uh, 
that was one. They are different springs, all of them are. Two. Three. That just leaves four, so now I can get four. Okay, he must have... Either four came out and I missed it. I must have missed it. He must have popped somewhere because I don't see four. And I know I felt feedback on four. I don't think he didn't put a spring in four. I don't see it anywhere. So, Bobby, you might have to let me know. Um, I'll look around and see if I see a spring anywhere. You might have to let me know whether you put a spring in that chamber or not. I think you did because I felt it when I was picking. Everything had tension on it, so... Um, wow, that's the first. I haven't done that before. I uh, don't normally lose pieces to locks. <laughs> but I can always... I've got plenty of springs. I can always put a copper or a steel spring back in there. You just got to let me know which one you had in there. Um, I've already showed you a close-up of the pens, but we're going to go ahead and zoom in here. Show you guys this view. Uh, that what uh, Bobby Keys put inside of this awesome sergeant um, that he pinned on 7-3 of 2017 so thank you again Bobby for all of these awesome locks thank you for the picks thank you guys for watching thank you for your time and well all right guys uh, real quick just to let you know I did find that other spring so we had a short copper long copper uh, 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 steel copper and then another copper uh, and then there were no modifications in the Bible by the way it was all smooth up top so that's what was inside of this sergeant uh, thank you again Bobby for sending me the locks and thank you guys for watching and well don't break the law <laughs>